Hey everybody, my name is Ryan Franson. I'm the computer science teacher at Bountiful High School, and I'm an early adopter and overall mega nerd about artificial intelligence in the classroom. Today, I wanna to walk you through my journey with AI and how I have started using Skillstruck's custom tutors to help me become a more effective teacher by creating amazing learning experiences for my students. My AI journey started in January, 2023 with ChatGPT. I was lucky enough to have a supportive admin that paid for my premium account and encouraged me to see what I could do with it. And within a few months, the tasks I was able to complete with AI was truly astonishing. I was able to use AI not only to come up with ideas for lessons and projects, but I was also able to use it to write rubrics and quizzes, accommodate assignments for students with IEPs, create lecture slides, worksheets, guided notes, and so much more. AI helped me to improve my lectures, creating reading selections for my students, write emails, and even help me grade. I then started looking beyond the classroom and found ways to have AI help students research scholarships, get jobs, look up colleges, exercise more effectively, even learn how to eat healthier, and so much more. This was all pretty exciting, but the thing that really helped me out the most as a teacher was when OpenAI opened up the GPT store. GPTs are custom versions of ChatGPT that you can train by feeding it specific knowledge for its base, custom instructions to provide guardrails and help it interact with users, and necessary skills to accomplish specific tasks. There are thousands of GPTs in the store, and many of them are quite useful. But the thing that I was most excited about was the ability to write my own GPTs, to basically build myself teacher assistants to help me with my workload and act as personalized tutors for my students. As you can see, I was able to build a lot of cool stuff with a GPT builder. Pretty soon, I had custom tutors that knew everything about the classes I was teaching and the specific strands and standards and outcomes for my classes. I made artificially intelligent experts that I could chat with and get help in anything from SPED law, esports rules, and mentoring new teachers. My personal favorite was my code coach, which was designed to help kids learn to write code. But whenever a student gave it their code, it wouldn't fix it for them or show them the answer, but rather it would coach them towards the answer only using questions. Making GPTs absolutely changed my life as a teacher, but it didn't remove me from the teaching equation. Rather, it allowed me to create unique tools to help in my classroom teaching and to engage my students more effectively in the learning process. It multiplied my efforts as a teacher on a very personal level with my students. I had so much fun with this that I got to the point where I was actually taking requests from teachers to create custom tools for their own specific content areas. However, I quickly realized that ChatGPT had some limitations and had two major flaws when it comes to education. Number one, ChatGPT doesn't meet the student data privacy requirements for states. This meant that I could not have my students create accounts in ChatGPT to use in the classroom. Number two, all of those amazing GPTs that I was making for teachers and students could only be shared with people with a premium GPT account, which costs about 200 bucks a year. This meant I could not share any of these tools with my colleagues, and I could not get any of these learning resources I was making into the hands of my students. Luckily, Skillstruck solves both of these problems while still letting me use ChatGPT in the classroom. Skillstruck protects student privacy by allowing them to log in with Clever instead of personal emails and phone numbers. It also filters out any personal information kids type in before it goes to ChatGPT. Skillstruck also addresses the majority of concerns that educators have about AI in the classroom. It filters content, making sure kids can't access anything inappropriate. It logs all the student chats and creates a history that teachers can check. It also allows teachers to toggle on and off AI use in the classroom based on the needs of that class period that day. Skillstruck also has an amazing learning studio, which is an AI teacher toolbox that helps teachers with things like writing quizzes, adjusting the reading level and assignments to meet student needs and to help remix assignments. Lastly, and most importantly, is Skillstruck lets teachers create tutors, which are basically those custom GPTs I was building before. However, Skillstruck tutors can be shared with other educators and can be accessed by students. This allows me, as a teacher, to use AI to create individualized learning experiences for students and for my PLC to create tools that help address the needs of our department. Making tutors for my students is probably the most creative and impactful thing that I have done as a teacher. And surprisingly, tutors are not as hard to make as you would think. If you can write an email asking a student teacher or a classroom aide to help you with a task, you can create a tutor. At Bountiful High, where I teach, tutor creation has led to a kind of mini renaissance in our educational practices, as more and more teachers craft their own personal tutors to create powerful learning experiences for their students. And the student response has been very positive. 
Many of the teachers who are most nervous or antagonistic about artificial intelligence in schools have seen the extraordinary value of these personalized tutors and have actually started to get excited about making their own AI tutors and creating unique classroom experiences. I am not exaggerating when I say that this is probably one of the most revolutionary things going on in education today. And the only limits to this technology is the creativity of the teachers using it. The more my team plays in this space, the more we are amazed at a wide variety of its uses. Let me walk you through the process of making a tutor and then show you some of the things that we've been able to create at my school. In order to create your own custom tutor, you're gonna log into Skillstruck and go to the teacher dashboard. Then you're gonna click Learning Studio, Tutor Creator, and new tutor. And this is all the information that you need to fill out in order for Skillstruck to create a custom tutor for your students. First thing is the topic or learning materials. This is what topic do you want the AI to cover? What is it going to be an expert on? Are there any strands, standards, objectives? And really, this is just where you write your task for what you want the bot to do. I have written some instructions here. You notice that doesn't need to be a book. It doesn't need to be super long. It can be pretty short. The important thing is that it's specific. This tutor that I'm making is going to help students write HTML code and figure out how to fix their code when it's broken. Down here for special instructions, this is anything that you'd want specifically for it to do, like guardrails. How do you want it to interact with students? How do you want it to respond? How do you want them to ask it questions? And are there any specific things? I don't really have a big need here for this bot. I feel like I have it pretty good in the instructions up above. I am going to add when in Socratic coach mode, never write code for the kid, right? So when kids give it their code, instead of writing code or saying, here's a solution, all it's going to do is ask them questions and help them find a solution for themselves. Down here, you can create a character or persona. This could be something as fun as, you know, I've seen teachers make it talk like the crocodile hunter, pretend like it's Bill Shakespeare. Or you can just name it whatever you want. So for this one, I'm going to call this the HTML CSS coach. And down here for the grade level, this is required. You want to pick well, what level do you want to respond to your students? If you're an elementary school teacher, for example, you don't want it giving high school or college level responses. So I'm teaching high school, so I'm going to select 12. But if you're elementary school, you might want to select lower based on the needs of your students. Once you have that dialed in, you can click generate. And the beauty of this is you can go back and edit as many times as you want. So if it's not exactly what you want, you can go change your instructions and keep tweaking until you get it really dialed in. All right, and here we go. On the right now, it has kind of taken all of this and summarized it for me, and it's ready to go. If I don't like what's over here, I can click regenerate and I can rewrite my instructions and just keep going back and forth till it's perfect. But I like this version. Let's test it out. I'm going to click export to chat for schools. I'm going to drop this in with my teacher assistant just so I don't add it to classes that don't need it right now. And then you click export tutor. And what this is going to do is make this available to everyone who is in that section or everyone who's in that class. You can always go back and adjust this later on. So let's see in action. I'm going to go to chat for schools and I'm going to click chat and I'm going to go to my teacher assistant. And here's the normal chat GPT. But if I go to tutors, you can see now I have this right here. And here's a previous example I made. If I click HTML CSS coach and there it is. My students can use this. One of the beauties of Skillstruck is that I can actually toggle on and off my tutors and also chat GPT. So for example, some of our teachers only want their kids to have access to the tutor in class because maybe it's helping them write an essay or maybe it has special rules built in. So in Skillstruck, you can actually go and toggle on and say, I only want my students to access the tutor for the next hour for this class period, which is pretty powerful. And here we go. I've made this tutor and just for sake of time, I have created an example here of how it works. My student says, teach me how to create a hyperlink. And in teacher mode, my, my tutor goes on and teaches them what a hyperlink is. Here's the code for it. Here's a breakdown step by step of exactly what it does in an example in real life. So maybe a kid missed a lecture or maybe a kid's falling behind. This is an excellent tool. But down here, I gave an example of a kid that just says my code's not working right. And they copied and pasted in their code. And this turned on the Socratic coach mode. So what this is going to do is this going to identify the problem, but then help coach the kid to solve it. It's never going to write code for them, never going to show them the answer. It's going to coach them to guide them to that answer themselves. So that's looking pretty good. Look at, let's look at some other examples we have. Right here is some of the ones I've made for my classes. I have a rubric writer, and I gave this to teachers in my district to help us all write rubrics better. A letter recommendation writer, a code challenger, which comes up with coding challenges for my students. I use this to get my kids ready for a high school coding competition we went to. And then we have body McBotface. My students named this one. 
but its purpose is to help students figure out how to fix their code, but it only asks questions. So for example, we have a kid here that says, how can I make a rectangle in the class move from side to side? And it starts asking questions. The kid provides its code and it says, check this, check this. And it walks the kid through the process rather than showing them the answer. For English teachers out there, this was made by one of my friends, and this is a research question bot. This teacher has students write a research paper in their class, but they really had a hard time getting kids to write good research questions, and they just couldn't go around and coach every kid one-on-one. -on -one. So they created this to multiply their efforts across the classroom, and what this does is it knows what a good research question is, and it uses a Socratic method to help kids come up with good research questions. So you can see here, the kid talks about what topics they're considering, and it says, those are both interesting. Let's focus on one and give me a specific enough for an eight to 10 page paper. Give me your question. So the kid writes a question and then it provides some feedback. And this kid adjusts their question and that provides even more feedback. And then I like this here. It even knows that you're writing a research paper and it says, okay, that's a good question, but can you get the primary research through interviews, observations, and surveys? It knows enough to take that next level and make sure that not only is it a good question, but it's something that a kid can realistically get information. On. Here we have a, another writing tutor that was made by a, Leo, a history teacher called Leonardo. And this is basically just helping kids get more AP level writing done in class. This teacher wants kids to write more, but they, the limit in the system is that they just can't read everything and provide feedback on everything. So they fed it some AP rubrics and they gave it some commands about helping kids with their writing and providing specific tailor fit feedback. So kids come on here and then give it their essay. And then it breaks down their essay into the different parts and provides specific feedback for that student. And then the student can make changes and keep going back and forth with it until they get their essay dialed in. Once again, this teacher isn't removing themselves from the equation. They're just multiplying themselves so they can reach more students effectively. The use cases for tutors and Skillstrike are infinite. And I feel like a lot of teachers, when they first start, they get really narrow-minded in what they can approach. But I hope to show you guys that there is more that you can do as you play around with these tools. And I hope that you can start creating because the more of us that do and share out what we're doing, the more inspiration we all get and the more use cases we can find. I hope this was helpful for you guys. I hope you guys get creating tutors and I hope you guys have fun with it. Thanks so much.